Virginia Tennis is about becoming the best you can be every single day and focusing on what you can control, not worrying about the things that you can't control, and just continuing to get better every single day. Andre, Sarah, and Gina have been absolutely amazing, obviously, with this transition. I think they're probably the best listeners I've ever met, which I think is pretty understated. Um, but when they came in, they obviously had really high goals, really high aspirations for this team. But the first thing they did was listen to people who have been here and what we thought we could do better and what we could accomplish. They took our groundwork and they made it 10 times better. We have a tough schedule. We're in the ACC, which I believe had the most preseason ranked teams of any conference um, in the country. And a few others, Wake Forest and NC State, were honorable mentions. It just gives us opportunities to have excellent competition every single match, you know, opportunities to play ranked teams. Um, I just think it's going to make our team a lot better playing such a good, strong schedule. And we also play Michigan, which is going to be a big match for us. We played them last year at home, and so we're going to Ann Arbor to play them over spring break. When my assistant and I first got here, we would watch our players compete on the court, and they were putting so much pressure on themselves. And we spent a lot of time just focusing on helping them understand what they can and what they cannot control, um, what aspects are important to being a good player, a good teammate. Um, we actually read a book called What Drives Winning, and it's about how character drives the process, which the process drives the result. And I think they learned so many valuable lessons from that book. Um, and as the season went on, we just saw them playing freer and freer um, in every match. And it was so fulfilling as a coach to be able to watch them really enjoy being out on the court and enjoy being in those tough moments. This year, our focus has really been on becoming more professional with our preparation, our demeanors on the court. Um, and just the way we conduct ourselves um, and the way we prepare for every match and every practice. In order to excel on the court, you have to take care of all the little things, and we talk about it in meetings all the time. Um, you have to really maintain and have a high level expectation for everything off the court as well, or else it really can't come together. Um, your academics are in check, um, your social life is in check, whatever it may be, um, and you're out there, you're just playing for the love of the game and for your teammates. Megan's such an incredible leader for us in so many different ways and she actually was a captain on, for our team last year um, with another senior who did graduate so she has that experience of being a captain um, but what I love about Megan is she just cares so much about what's best for the team. Um, she's extremely unselfish, she's one of the hardest workers if not the hardest worker on our team. I mean constantly coming in for extra individuals, um, she's built great relationships with every player on this team and everyone respects her um, and, and listens to her. Uh, she and our other senior, Erica Susi, are both our team captains and Erica's also done a great job of you know, really leading in other ways, um, especially off the court in terms of marketing, her academic results. She got a 4.0 last semester. Um, she's really trying to do a lot of stuff with the community, great community service leadership. So. It's been phenomenal having the two of them lead our team this year. Me and Erica have a really big opportunity to help out the young people um, and keep learning the way we did. Um, but I think my role has changed in the way that I'm still playing for everyone, but I think that we, I do still have a lot to prove. I think, and this team still has a lot to prove. One thing that kept coming up in a lot of these meetings was Megan's a good leader for our team. So that was coming from all of the other players. Um, which really stood out to me and, and I listened to them and, and so yeah, I definitely spent a lot of time with Megan and got to know her better and, and understanding what was important to her as a leader and, and she's just been so coachable in that way as well. Like I've definitely seen her grow in, in many ways and, and she's not afraid if she, if she has a weakness to work on it. She's not afraid to talk about it. She, she wants to do whatever she can that's best for, for this team and, and it's shown. She's done a great job. We've made huge strides, um, we've been working super hard and I think we just want to go out there and show people what we've been working so hard to do um, and I think it's just it's such a privilege to be here and compete for UVA and I want to be able to milk that as long as possible um, and enjoy that um, and like I obviously am looking forward. Um, I have been super inspired by Gina and Sarah um, and Andres and I'd love to become a coach one day and I think that's really been a new thing on my mind. And, giving me a new perspective of how I want to look at this season. Um, we have things to prove, I think.